Hello! Today I will guide you as you make a sweet pomegranate brooch. This craft comes just in time for the Jewish New Year, Rosh Hashanah or Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah is a two-day celebration and this year it begins on the evening of September 6. Customs associated with the holiday include sounding the shofar, a trumpet-like instrument made from a ram's horn. There are 100 blasts from the shofar over the course of the Rosh Hashanah. Food is also a big part of the celebrations. Many Jews eat a brown challah, sometimes with raisins, dip apples in honey to represent a sweet new year, and eat pomegranates, giving voice to the wish that our merits be many like the seeds of the pomegranate. For this craft, we will be making our own pomegranate brooch using felt and beads to represent the pomegranate seeds. Your craft kit will come with felt and red, white, and green along with a template, thread and embroidery floss in red, white, and green, beads in various sizes, a brooch back, and a needle. You will also need a ruler, a pen or marker, scissors, and a hot glue gun for strong adhesive. You will begin by tracing the template onto the red felt. This will be your base shape. Rosh Hashanah, literally head of the year in Hebrew, is the Jewish New Year, the time of prayer and self-reflection. We review our actions during the past year and we look for ways to improve ourselves, our communities, and our world in the year to come. The holiday marks the beginning of the 10-day period known as Yamin Noraim, or High Holidays, ushered in by Rosh Hashanah and culminating with Yom Kippur. Rosh Hashanah is widely celebrated by Jews throughout the world. Once you've drawn your shape, it's time to begin beading. For easy access to your beads, place them on a small plate. You will begin beading at the center of your shape and work your way outwards. You can do this by radiating your beads or spiraling them. To attach the beads onto your felt, use the white thread. Feel free to use your own needle. Bring your needle up through the felt, then pick up your bead using the tip of your needle. This might take a few tries to get right. Then thread your bead onto your needle, slide your bead to the end of your thread, then take your needle to the other side of the bead so that it lays down flat. Don't go through the same hole, otherwise your bead will not have tension and will rock from side to side. Repeat the process with the rest of your red beads.
There is a beautiful daytime ritual during Rosh Hashanah that is very engaging for kids and families, called Tashlich, in which people toss breadcrumbs into a nearby body of water to symbolically cast away old habits and mistakes. Leave at least a half centimeter along the edge of your shape to be able to attach it to your base. Once you are satisfied with your beadwork, secure the thread by tying a knot at the back. Then use your scissors to cut out your shape. Use the red thread to attach the gold beads along the crown of your base shape. Use your center shape to situate where your gold beads will begin. The gold beads are very small, so pick up and thread from 5 to 6 beads at a time. To secure your row of beads, go down at the end of your row, then come back from underneath with your needle and stitch between your row of beads. This will keep your beads from shifting. Continue attaching rows of gold beads along the crown of your pomegranate. Now it's time to attach the center shape to your base. For this, you will be using the white embroidery floss. If you're having difficulty threading your needle, separate the floss threads. I will show you two ways to attach your center. First, a blanket stitch. To do a blanket stitch, bring your needle up through the red felt at the very edge of your white felt. Then go down half a centimeter and through both your white and red felt. Now come back up through the same hole you started with and loop your needle under your first stitch to anchor it. 
Then go down and to the left, but don't go through all the way. Leave a small loop. Come up again through the red felt at the edge of your white felt, under the loop. Give it a good tug. This is your first blanket stitch. Once again, go down and to the left, making sure to leave a loop of floss for your needle to come through. Continue the process until your center shape is completely attached to your base. A simpler method to attach your center is using an overstitch. To do an overstitch, come up through the red felt, then down a half centimeter, and through both the white and red felt. You can angle your stitches a bit for an added design. Continue this process until your center is completely attached. Once the center is fully secured, cut out your base shape and use the red floss to embroider the edge of your brooch. I've used an overstitch method, but you can also use a blanket stitch if you prefer that look. common greeting you will hear during Rosh Hashanah is Shana Tova. Another common greeting during the holiday is Shana Tova Umetuka, which means may you have a happy and sweet new year. Now take your green felt and draw one or two leaf shapes. Using your green floss, you will embroider the center of your leaf using a fly stitch. Begin with a simple stitch, then come up from below about a half centimeter to the left side of your first stitch. Now go down on the right hand side, leaving a loop. Come up through the same hole or as close to the same hole as the end of your first stitch and through the loop. Give it a little tug 
and then complete with a forward stitch. Continue the process until the end of your leaf shape. Cut out your leaf shapes and over stitch the edges of your shapes. Using your hot glue gun or adhesive, attach the leaves to the back of your brooch. Complete your brooch by snipping any thread tails and attaching the brooch back using your hot glue gun. You're all done! Let's see how it looks! Thank you for joining me for this project! I hope you enjoyed it! If you're interested in learning more about the Jewish New Year, contact an adult services librarian. See you next time! And Shana Tova Umetukah!